Hi, this is Phil from PDQ Merch Enterprises and the ATM Mastermind Group page. And in today's video, we're we'll talking about the top five bad deals that you guys need to avoid. Always remember here at PDQ Merch Enterprises and the ATM Mastermind Group page, we buy your freedom back one transaction at a time. Please stay to the end of the video and I'll tell you how to avoid these top five bad deals. But we're gonna jump right into it. The top five bad deals that you guys need to avoid. Bad deal number one, this is one of my favorite ones all time. So you, you talked about the owner, you say, look, we got an ATM program, it doesn't cost you anything, we're gonna pay you a commission. The owner says, great, we need an ATM, we need some, some way to take payment. You start negotiating, everything's great. And now you tell them, hey, we gotta bolt down the ATM. No problem, he says. Now you bring the ATM in a location, and lo and behold, you whip out the hammer drill, and the guy says, well, what are you doing? He said, we gotta bolt it down. Well, I didn't know you're gonna drill into my floor. You can't drill into my floor. So now you say, well, what do you mean? I, I ATM has to be drilled down into the floor because I gotta cover this for my insurance. Insurance company says it's gotta be bolted to the floor. Now I know some of you guys in the ATM business, maybe you don't have insurance yet, or maybe you're self-insuring it, but for the most part, most of the insurance companies, they wanna drill down the floor. So you explain, look, this is an ATM, and mysteriously, this ATM is gonna grow legs and walk away if we don't bolt it down. So you might go back and forth. And then the owner will say to you, you know what, you gotta make a decision. Either you wanna put the ATM in here or not, because maybe what I wanna do is I wanna move it around the store from time to time. Laugh at that. You know what, been an ATM business 22 years, and I can assure you, every time we put an ATM, it pretty much stays there in entire, uh, the entirety of the ATM and the locations. We never move and they never move, okay? Once in a great while, they change room, they change something, so they never move. So that's a joke. But for the most part, it's your money, it's your cash. You gotta make a decision, do I wanna bolt it down or not? Bad deal number two, surcharge. In your mind, most of the time, you guys should be thinking, I'm gonna give 10% to the customer, maybe as much as is 20%, okay? But now what happens is you talk to the ATM potential owner of the business, and you say, you know what, we wanna put the ATM in, you start talking about how much the surcharge is and what, lo and behold, what they want, oh, I want 50% of what the ATM is. If it's $2, I want a dollar. If it's $3, I want a dollar fifty. No, nope, it doesn't happen, but they're gonna ask for this. And this is my favorite one. Oh, we're gonna do a bang up job. So how do we avoid that? Again, we'll stay to the end of the video, but you guys gotta know what you're willing to take. For me, it's a deal breaker unless they can prove themselves what it's gonna be worth. So I always like to start out at 50 cents and then see if it goes from there, how, how the transaction value. Don't put yourself in a bad position when you guys start out and then you say, okay, I'll give you, I'll give you half. Cause you get excited, you want the location, you wanna make the money. The owner tells you, oh, it's gonna be great. You're gonna kill it in here. You know what? Let me kill it and make some money. I don't wanna kill it and give you some money. So you gotta have that idea of what you guys are gonna do. But to me, I always walk away when I have to give them 50% of the surcharge. It's always a bad deal. So I've taught hundreds of aspiring ATM business owners how to go from zero ATMs to successful pro in the ATM business in as little as 30 days. So if you're thinking about starting a profitable ATM business but don't know how, so stay to the end and I will teach you how to start the ATM business the right way even if you have zero ideas of how to start a business. In the video, I will share with you five things you need to know to start a successful ATM business. So you can start building your passive income source for your family. You'll have a clear roadmap towards the ATM business success. So you can earn between $250 and $1,500 of passive income every month. Bad deal number three. For me, this is a 100% deal breaker. They don't wanna sign a location here. You know what? For me, I need to protect myself. Most of the time, if they don't own a building and they leave the owner of the building, always wants to see my location agreement. What kind? Because they uh, say that, you know what, that ATM in there is mine, unless you can prove to me and the lawyer that you own that ATM. And I would say, you know what? I have the keys, my name's on there, I have the code, we have transactional volume, I can show you. They don't care about all that. What they want to see is a location agreement that spells out the deal. Landlord has told me many times, look, that guy who was in here, he owes me a lot of money, he left. And that ATM is mine because everything in the store is mine, unless you can prove that it's not. I got thousands of dollars sitting in the ATM. I got the ATM sitting there. That's worth a few thousand dollars, if not more. And I don't want to lose that. 
So for me, if you guys are interested in blowing anywhere from five to $10,000, don't sign an agreement. But if you want to preserve that hard money that you guys invested, always get a location agreement signed. It'll pay multiple dividends. Bad deal number four, the store owner wants to negotiate the surcharge and then tell you how much they want you to take out. Oh, the last guy in here had a $2 surcharge. Oh, the last guy in here allowed them to take out $500. Now, in the business, the norm is $200 that they can take out. That's the minimum withdrawal that they have, that we have to set in by ATM standards that they can take out. Most people in the ATM business leave it at $200. Some people raise it three, four, five hundred dollars $500, depending if you're in a gaming environment or you're in a tattoo shop or something. Now, you might say, well, Phil, just put a percentage on it. If they take out more, you as the ATM operator make more. What happens is some of these guys who are store owners say, no, they have to take out more than $200 up to five and I want to just charge them $2 and I want to make 50 cents, 50%. To me, bad deal. You want to dictate the, the amount of money and the price? No, nope, can't do it. I don't like the deal. I walk away every time. And bad deal number five is the owner wants to put me in a bad position in a scary spot in a store. A lot of times you have a vestibule, then you have the store. And sometimes they say, well, we don't have any room in the store, but we can put it in a vestibule. The vestibule doesn't have cameras. The vestibule doesn't have an alarm. So what can they do? They can bust in the door, pop the glass, bust in, steal my ATM, and nobody knows about it. And I don't like that situation. I like to be in an area in the store that's safe and secure to avoid a smash and grab, to avoid any kind of robbery. Those are the spots I want. I want a high traffic area, somewhere close to the door, but I want to be in an area that is safe and secure. After all, I got thousands of dollars, the company's got thousands of dollars invested in the ATM and the money in there. We want to be secure. We don't want to put ourselves in a vulnerable position that we can get a smash and grab or anything like that where nobody is really paying attention. Sometimes what happens is the vestibule's here, the clerk is, is 50 feet away, they can't see what's going on. And you can have somebody actually be in the store, busted in your ATM, and they won't even know because it's not in the store. So I don't put myself in that position. So here's how you avoid all these situations. I just listed all the bad deals that I've experienced, but you gotta take those bad deals and know what is your breaking point. What is your threshold? You gotta know that going in. If for me, I know going in, I can't bolt it down, it's a deal breaker, I'm out. I know going in, I can't sign a location agreement, I'm out. I know if this guy wants to negotiate how much I can take out or the customers take out of the ATM and I can't change the percentage on it, there's no point in it. These are all deals that I've learned over the years. These are bad, they don't make the company any money, they put us under a tremendous amount of financial burden or stress, you know what, it doesn't work. I don't have a contract, somebody steals my ATM, insurance company's not gonna pay. I don't have a contract and they change hands, landlord kicks the guy out, or the guy leaves, I lose my, my ATM and our money. You gotta know, I spelled them out in the beginning of the video, you gotta know what are bad deals, which I explained, and then what are you guys gonna do? Some people say, oh, I'm not gonna bolt it down, but I'll put cement bags in there. Who cares? They just move the ATM. I've seen dozens of people get their ATM stolen that's that are bolted down. It looks, it's like having a camera that is a dummy camera and it doesn't go anywhere. So know those bad deals going in and it'll save you guys a lot of time, a lot of aggravation and a lot of money by knowing what your thresholds are before you talk to that customer. Suppose you're interested in setting up your own ATM business. So in that case, I wanna invite you to my free checklist training entitled the ATM Business Passive Income Checklist. The top things you need to start a profitable ATM business, where I'll share with you the top five things you need to start your profitable ATM business so you can start earning passive income, make more money, and spend more time with your family. Click the link down below to get this free checklist. Again, this is Phil from PDQ Merchant Enterprises and ATM Mastermind Group page, where we buy your freedom back one transaction at a time. Thank you guys very much.